Hi everyone, Simon here again. So today, what are we talking about? We are talking about complaints to my beer bar in Patea 15 years ago. And I imagine these complaints are pretty much similar to today. They're all gonna be the same. So as a beer bar manager, um, what sort of complaints did we get? How did we deal with them? Well, please remember, uh, the mama Sam in the bar used to be the girl, the, the bar girl's manager stroke supervisor. So as the manager, we could get away with not getting involved. And you don't want to get involved with Thai girls and mama Sam and guys and complaints. You duck when a complaint comes in, you hide. <laughs> so, we never used to get complaints about the bar because what's there to complain about? Okay, the toilets, um, the hygiene of the bar, the beer's not cold enough, the vodka tastes strange, the channel on the TV's wrong. That's really all people could complain about. So it wasn't about the bar. It was always about the 10 girls that worked in my bar. And we're talking about the Soy 7, second bar, 10 girls full-time and to freelancers oh yeah I forgot about those <laughs> so let's have a look at some of the complaints I've made a few notes and the girl at uh, the customers used to pay a bar fine so in those days it was 300 baht the customer would pay 300 baht to the bar for the compensation for them taking one of our staff out of the bar um, and I've mentioned we would give a hundred bar of that to the girl as a bonus and we're losing one of our staff so customers paid 300 bar bar fine customer complaints customers coming back so they'd bar find a girl and they'd go could be very quickly come back could be hours it could be even the next day what was the most common one customers wanted and this probably is a bit of an over 18 video hmm. customers some customers did not want to use a condom that was one of the biggest problems they'd come back and say this girl would not allow me uh, to not use a condom what can you say? I mean, guy, you know, you are, you're being silly, not having safe sex. Why would you not want to use a condom? So they'd come back and the mama sound would say, well, pff, that's not our problem. But quite often the customers, they, they kick off about it. So what we did was just like, okay, here's your bar fine back. The girl wouldn't get the hundred bar. It's upsetting for the girl and we'd probably lose a customer. Or we'd say, right, or you take another girl, but you ask the question first. So the advice there, guys, if that's what you're into, ask the girls first before you pay the bar fine. They won't, uh, the girls will give you the straight answer. They won't be upset. But a lot of the girls will say no to you because uh, STDs and all the rest of it. That was the common, that was quite common. It really was. Um, next one. Now this happened every month, the girls in the bar, they'd get fed up at the bar and they'd, they'd move to another bar. And then we'd get girls from another bar coming to us. That happens all around Thailand. Girls get bored and they move bars. They think that the grass is greener on the other side. So you get an influx, certain dates after payday, you'd get new girls. Now this always tended to happen around that time because we didn't know the girls. Customers would take a girl and come back the next day usually um, where an unscrupulous girl and there wasn't many but occasionally it happened would and I've heard of this it never happened in my bar but one of my friends bars it happened girl actually drugged the guy gave him a bit of a something in his drink sent him to sleep and stole all his goods but we have had a guy come a girl in our bar new girl a uh, guy had uh, fallen asleep and she took his mobile phone and money and disappeared. Now, by not taking freelancers, by taking girls from a bar, you've got a bit of protection. If this ever happens to you, 
when a girl joins your bar, the Mama Sam will take her ID card and copy it. Will take her details, address, where her family live, as much information as she can. And would create a file. And in our bar, uh, in the second year, because early on we, we didn't really know what was happening, but our girls, every three months, would go to a local clinic, the bar would pay, and they'd do tests for STDs, etc. Um, and if Eddie had a problem, we'd send them home for a month, get themselves sorted and come back. That way we could get the little certificates and Mama Sam would have a copy. So there's an answer to some of your questions you keep asking. How did we take care of STDs and things like that? That's a helicopter. I bet that's Richard Hammond from Top Gear, because where I am, he's got a little helicopter, blue and silver thing, and he lives just down the road and he keeps buzzing over, annoying. <clears throat> yeah, so that's how we dealt with STDs. We got up to uh, a little clinic up the road, I think it cost uh, 140 baht for a test, and they get a little certificate. Mamazan kept it, just in case any customers wanted to know. You can ask the bar if you go and uh, you're really unsure, you want to check these things, go in a bar, when you're paying, bar fine, talk to them. Any certificates, check, can you give me this information? Bar will give you that information, it's no problem. Um, so where was I? I've lost my train of thought now. Hammond, you pain! <laughs> yeah, girls, a couple of times, stealing from customers. So you come back to the bar, right, we all give, the Mama Sam will give you ID and all the paperwork, point you to the police station. That girl, if she has stolen, will disappear. She won't come back to the bar. If she did come back to the bar, then bang, you know, the bar would take her to the police station and you get it all sorted. Doesn't happen very often. Very few girls will ever, they just, you know, ruining their chances of getting work in the area. So it doesn't happen very often. You hear stories of freelancers doing it because there's no bar to protect you. Maybe, I'm not sure. Never, well, didn't happen that often. I say once in our bar, a customer came back, had a phone lifted, and a friend's bar had a couple of incidents. And the drug in a customer, that, that was a friend's bar, heard of it once. Putting the Mickey Finn in their drink. Um, had one complaint in our bar, where within an hour the customer came back with the girl um, and compl complained about her odours and hygiene. So the Mama Sam just gave the money back, girls come back in and told to sort it out and uh, didn't even question that one. That was one of the weird ones, yeah, but hmm. And yeah, I can remember the girl, but I don't think it was a strange one. We had one complaint. Um, it was an unusual one, this one. Customer, and I can't remember the customer, but the Mama Sam didn't know how to handle it and put the customer in my face. Um, the guy had bar find the girl, taken her to his hotel for the night, come back the next day, they sent the girl home, wanted his money back, his 300 baht. He'd already financed the girl and paid the girl, but he wanted his bar find back because she'd been too rough with him. Too rough with him. She wasn't gentle. Um, she'd been quite domineering. How do I handle that? I, you can imagine what I probably told him at the time. Been too rough with him. I didn't give him his bar phone back. Um, I thanked him for his information so I could put a, a label on <laughs> on her patch properly. <laughs> Happy good advertising. Yeah. No, it, she'd been too rough with him, so that was one of the very unusual ones. Hmm, a lot of the guys were actually probably like that. Um, I had a lady boy working in my bar. This girl had had full operations, everything. Shaved Adam Dapple, uh, hormones from a young age, the chop, a tuck. Absolutely everything. How do I know this? Because when this katoy came to the bar, to my Mama San, and this was probably six months into the Soy 7 bar, came to the Mama San and asked if they could work at the bar. Mama San wasn't sure. She came to me, 
So Frozen came to me. Frozen story. Look at the other videos. Frozen came to me and said, <laughs> "No idea." And this Katoy lady boy. Um, we went to the back of the bar. This lady boy just suddenly stripped naked in front of me. First time I've ever seen a lady boy naked in my life. Um, but I was sat there and I'm like, I, I didn't know what to say or do. <laughs> you could imagine. Anyway, strip completely. Look, <laughs> put clothes back on. We gave um, this girl a job on the uh, condition that every single customer that mentioned Barfine, that she had to tell them the full story. I'm um, this, 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 you know, done everything had to tell them and uh, she was with us for a year but at the end she got a bit drunk with one night with a customer in the bar bar find her um, it's only halfway through the night whatever they were doing in that hotel that it slipped out that uh, she told him she was a lady boy and he came, well, kicked her out and came back the next morning. I think it was about 10, I opened the bar the next morning, put the shutter up and he was there. <laughs> Not happy chappy. Uh, suffice to say, we gave him his uh, money back, explained the situation, apologized. We then asked that lady, well, look, sorry, you know, you've got to go, it's too risky. Potential problems. So yeah, that was a funny one. Just stripped in front of me, look. I'm a girl. Oh my god. Another complaint. Oh, this is another one of those sadistic complaints. Uh, a guy came into my bar. I should do a video about this and ask for two girls. Yeah. Um, quite a lot of people, quite a lot of you out there, secret fantasies. You might be a girl sat there thinking about. What would it be like with two guys once in your life? You might be a guy who wants to like with two lady boys. You might be a girl who wants two lady boys. You might be a guy who wants two girls. The fantasy. Um, yeah. Quite a lot of Thai bar girls are in fact partially, maybe completely gay. You, There are even bars around that sp specifically deal with two girls at a time. There used to be a famous one in Bangkok, the Eden Club. I don't know if it's still going. Heard lots of stories about that one. But yeah, if you go to a bar and say, actually, I want to try two girls, or I just want two girls on my arm to look fantastic when I'm walking down the street. Whatever. Whatever that, you know, floaty boat. So you want two girls. I had a guy come in to the bar. He went to the mama and said, I want, he actually said, I want two girls. Um, Mama Sam wasn't sure. She asked me, and I said, I don't know. So eventually, he picked one girl and he asked that girl, fancy chip. So he picked, he picked two girls from the bar who were good friends and they both lived upstairs and took them back to his hotel. Came back the next day complaining that the one girl didn't join in and it was a complete waste of his time asking for his uh, a refund on the bar fine. He paid two bar fines. We gave him one bar fine back and said, Psh. yeah, complained. Oh, okay. So that's what you do if you want two girls, two guys, two lady boys. Talk to the bars. Every bar will try and help you. Um, but as a bar manager, what could we do with complaints coming in? All we could do was give the money back for the bar fine. Um, offer another girl. With problems, we can give you ID cards. We can give you STD certificates. Oh, we can point you to the police. Uh, if there's a really serious problem, obviously we'll get involved. We'd, we'd have, I'd have got involved and down the police. The, there's the tourist police and the normal police. The tourist police were brilliant. They would always iron out a lot of the problems anyway. Um, actually, if you guys know the tourist police phone number in Thailand, I think it was 4444, I can't remember. And if you know, guys, might be worth just mentioning that. You've got a tourist police phone number that will help few of those are expats and work there very good so there you go that's complaints uh, 
as I think of more complaints in the future, and some of the other bars, if I can remember, getting slow out here, but if I can remember some of the stories and things, I'll, I'll do a part two to this. But that was just uh, an idea, complaints into a bar. Now, if you have problems with a bar, what do you do? Go back to the bar, talk to the mamasan, talk to the bar manager. Always try and sort it out. The last thing a bar wants is a bad name, lose customers, and a bad girl working for them. Always want to get rid of those sort of, you know, if there's a girl like that, they'll want to get rid of that girl. So talk to the bar, don't be embarrassed, don't be shy, go back and talk to them. There you go. So, that'll do for today. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Thanks again, new subscribers. Oh, share, thumbs up, thumbs down, trolls, whatever. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.